We are going to learn how to animate a two-dimensional plot, just like this. As you can see, we have two functions and we're going to trace both of them. Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to show how to do the non-animated version of these two plots first. I'm going to import uh, all the objects from Manum. I'm also going to import the OS so I can run the Manum command line straight from Python down here. I extend the scene because every animation you do in in Manum has to extend scene or at least some some variant of scene and I'm going to call this the my plot scene. The construct function has to be implemented and we're going to override it. We have the axes declared right here. So this will declare my x and y axes. The x range is going to be from negative 5 to 5 with uh, tick increments of 1. The Y range is going to be from negative 1 to 5 with tick increments of 1. And we're going to save the axes uh, to our ax variable. And then we simply declare these two, these two functions, these two plots. So I will take, I will call plot on the axis for the first function. And I pass it a lambda expression, or I could just pass a straight Python function if I wanted to, that passes a given X variable and the function is going to be one-fifth times x squared. And I'm going to make that given function curve blue. The other function is going to be one-half x plus one. So I follow that exact same pattern, but I'm going to make its color yellow. And then finally, I add those two axes, figure one and figure two. And this is the result. All right, so let's learn how to animate this scene. So this is my previous scene that wasn't animated. This one right here is going to be animated. And I'm going to call it my plot animated scene. Again, I'm going to call the construct function. The value tracker is going to be critical here to create that nice, smooth um, animation drawing those two functions. And it's going to start at, at negative 5 for the x value. I declare the axes in the exact same way. And the two functions, I'm going to call the plot function exactly the same way I did before. But I am going to put it inside the always redraw function. So it's always going to redraw these two plots that we made previously. And I am going to limit those plots to fall within only a certain x range. So it's going to go from negative 5 all the way up to the current value of this value tracker we declared earlier. So when we call animate on this value tracker, it's going to interpolate between negative 5 to 5. And that will interpolate in between the frames and constantly redraw these two functions. I will also add two dots to indicate those two functions being traced. And those are going to be in always redraw as well. So it's always going to produce these dots. And the dot for the first function is going to, is the x value is going to be the get the value out of that value tracker. And then I'm also going to pass that x value uh, from the value tracker into the underlying function so I can get the y value essentially. But I take the x and y value and I pass it to the axis C2P function. The C2P function stands for coordinate to point. That will take these two values relative to the axes and translate them to a point relative on the screen. So that is what the C2P function does. Very useful, very handy. So this is always going to be redrawn and always redrawing that dot based on the current value of the value tracker. Same thing with the other dot for the other function respectively. Uh, it, the previous dot is going to be blue, just like uh, its function counterpart. This dot is going to be yellow, and it's going to follow the exact same pattern of taking the x value out of the value tracker and then passing that x value over to the underlying function. And it's always going to be redrawn. I'm going to use the right animation, pass that to the manems play, and that is going to create that nice little effect of writing the, writing the axes. I'm going to wait wait a second. And then I'm going to immediately add those two functions and those two dots to the scene, which again, that's, that's going to be the beginning of the trace. And then I'm going to, 
I am going to call animate on that value tracker I declared up here earlier. And then, and then as I call animate, I'm going to call set value five and it's going to run for six seconds. So it's going to transition the value tracker from negative five all the way up to five. And it's going to do that for six seconds and it's going to generate all of those frames in between uh, to interpolate those values. And I'll call play on that animation. And then after that, everything else takes care of itself. The value tracker and every all the always redraw does all the work. And then finally, after it's done, I'm going to fade out the two dots and wait an additional second. And then I execute by calling OS system. And then I pass it. I'm going to output to the MP4 file, my plot scene right here, and pass this given Python file, and then and then specify running my plot scene animation.